Hi guys, how we doing? So, sorry I missed yesterday. Um, sometimes you really just have to take a day. But today we're going to get back to the little girl. And um, hopefully I can find the right brush here. Um, that work. So my last attempt at getting her finished up actually got messed up by my light. So let's see if we can't get her just the rest of her clothes done, her shoes. And we're going to start off on her shirt, which I don't want to perfectly match the pink on the skirt. So we're going to do a light pink for her shirt. And... Um, Just a nice, pretty, kind of fun color. I may have to do a couple of coats since this is a lighter color, but that's okay. We've done that before. Just making sure you guys are where you can actually see what we're doing. There we go. I just did not want to do her in completely the hard pinks and purples. I did want to do a little bit of softness in there. <clears throat> but still tying it into the rest of her outfit. And I think a light pink shirt with a pink and purple jumper style skirt would be... Something that a little girl would probably be willing to wear. And I think we'll do the socks the same color as the shirt, just so that we kind of match a little bit. Especially considering the fact that I did paint, make a little bit more of this paint than I probably needed to. But that's okay. I'd rather have too much than too little. I should have probably waited and done her tomorrow, but so we could make another uh, Wednesdays in pink joke, because I, I am not a kids movie person, but or a girly movie person, I guess I should say, but I actually love that movie. <laughs> so you got to have a little fun here and there. There we go. I should have probably done her collar first, but... We never do quite end up doing the first piece that I probably should. I usually end up doing that piece last because, you know, why make sense? Oops. 
It's one good thing about going a lighter color. So it is very easy to just go in and wipe it off when I get it on the purple. Sorry if I pulled her out of view. I just have to get up under here real quick. And I really think that was the right call. I like the lighter pink over top of that, the darker dress. And it still ties in with the other pinks. But it doesn't quite go so hard and so strong with it. down so you guys can actually see what we're doing down here. So she has these cute little bunchy socks on so I think it will fit for them to be pink. Now you guys may hear a little hint of Deimos throwing a fit in the background. Please don't judge us too harshly. We're still working on cycling him into the house. And sometimes we just have to take him to where he doesn't he no longer has access to the birds to get his stimulation under control a little bit. So he is in my bathroom with food and a litter box for a little while just so he can settle a little bit and then we'll have him out again. We have found that removing him from the situation and putting him somewhere where he can just settle a little bit seems to do the trick but he does complain about it rather loudly. Obviously, if I'm back here, I cannot be supervising him with the other animals, which we're still very, very heavily doing. So, as soon as he, I get done back here, he will be out and about again. Because we'll both be within easy reach to keep him from being able to hunt the other pets. And it is a challenge, but it can be done. You can actually teach a cat who they can and cannot hunt. We've done it before. It takes time and patience and being on your guard pretty much 24-7 when they're around. But eventually, they get the idea. So I'm going to see if it'll let me zoom out just a teeny, tiny bit. Of course not. That would be too easy. So we're just going to back the tripod up a little bit. Or not. So the next step is making her shoes. Do we want to go really dark blue or a black? Hmm. I think we're going to go the black route, because they are the cute little Mary Janes, and then we'll come over with silver for the buckles later on.
I am really loving how these guys are turning out, though. They are getting so cute. There we go. Yeah, I think black is the right call for these. How do you guys keep raising up again? There we go. Gotta love a little pair of Black Mary Janes, right? I think every little girl has at least one in their lifetime. There we go. I may not be out here quite as much this week as I normally would. We just do have a lot going on. Um, my mother-in-law's not feeling great. She's had some stomach issues. and She is a high priority in this household. So we do just about everything to try and get her feeling better. And there's the paint on my hands, because I wasn't paying attention to where I put my hand. And I think since we have a few extra minutes, since this isn't taking nearly as long today, we'll probably go ahead and do her flower and leaf on her hat once we finish her little shoes. Because I can't do the silver buckles until the black dries. <clears throat> we'll probably do that when I come in to do their hair and skin. Which he will be tomorrow, more than likely. And she'll probably be Thursday. Or I may, tr depending, I may go ahead and do both in one video. We'll see how long one takes. And go from there. I almost forgot that whole strap right there. It happens. Thankfully black is really easy to catch. You can see where you missed really, really easily when you're doing light colored stuff. But now, she really looks right. Mm, almost. Just catch these little spots where we didn't get in there. There we go. I'm just kind of cleaning up the edges here. I 
the shoes are something you won't see a crazy lot of, but still, you want them to be kind of nice. Oops, sorry guys, did not mean to bump you like that. So now, I'm going to have to probably tilt her so you guys can actually see that flower. But I need a good orange, because that looks like a sunflower. Oh, that's bright. I'm going to have to bring this down out of the stratosphere a little bit. But I think we can do that with a little bit of yellow and a little bit of red. Because that is, that is bright. smaller brushes. That will do. Okay, somehow or another that came out really, 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 really red. We're aiming for a reddish orange, not a slightly orangey red. I think I'm running low on my yellow. See, that's more what I was aiming for. I think I do want to lighten it up just a little bit more. Bring in a little bit more of this phenomenal orange here. I need to find an excuse to use this. Maybe we'll have to do something Halloween-y. And I really just used the word halloween -y in a sentence. That was a whole thing. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. And I am going to bring her down. There we go. You guys can see now. It was a lot of work for one little color, wasn't it? But sometimes it's worth it. Now we're just going in and getting the behind the scenes stuff there. Wipe that little bit of orange off the hat. Not that it's really going to show all that much. Hmm. Now we're going to have a little fun with this part. We're actually just going to do, well, okay. A little dollop of brown. And I've got this stuff that I never get to use. So we're going to use that in the middle a little bit too. I 
And yes, I skipped cleaning my brush. And what we're going to do is first we're going to do this. And give it that nice brown center. And then... This stuff really comes out quite gross, but it does work nicely. And the goal is to just come over top of that, and I just put my fingers all in that pink. And just to give it a little, little shimmer when the sun hits it. Nothing too, too crazy fancy, just... A little bit of fun because when can I resist making something just a little bit shiny? Now I'm just wetting, cleaning my brush a little bit so that I can come back over that pink where I put my hand because, you know, that's kind of important. So we're just coming in and just touching up these little spots where I stuck my fingers. We know I gotta do that at least once on any given video. I have to stick my fingers in wet paint, don't I? There we go. So that is where we're going to leave her for today. Um, I'm very happy with it. I think she's so super cute. I did notice a spot that I missed while I was showing her to you guys, though. I do also love that Do Not Disturb on my phone does not mean Do Not Disturb on my... Uh, on my watch, I keep getting messages. Hopefully they're not coming through on you guys. But there she is for now. So all that we have left on either of the children is their skin and their hair. So we will come through and we'll do at least one, maybe both, tomorrow. Um, I did notice another little oops here. There we go. So, I will come in tomorrow and we'll get these guys finished up. Till then, I will talk to you guys next time.